Very excited to get Nick Robertson, 53. Uh, good player out of Peterborough. Highly, highly skilled type of player that we're looking for um, moving forward. So. Most of the picks seemed small. Obviously, you guys don't care about size anymore, but it was kind of remarkable that you didn't pick anybody that was big. What, what's the, the logic there? Well, I think it's just how the list falls. You know, we certainly had big players on our list. Um, it's like certain years you get a certain country or nationality that somehow falls to your picks this year. It was smaller players, but we feel every player that we did pick is highly skilled. We feel like they're intelligent players, and uh, I think they fit what, uh, like I said, Kyle and our management group is trying to uh, acquire skilled players with uh, with um, good hockey sense. How happy were you to get a guy like Michael Coster, who was um, ranked a lot higher than, than, you know, it was like 40 or 50 picks, and he was still on the board when he came to you? Yeah, we were really happy. Uh, Michael had a great Ivan Holinka in the summer. Um, you know, they match head to head with Team Canada, a lot of the top players um, in Canada and all through Europe. He had a good high school season, um, maybe not as good as people thought he would. He slipped a little bit, but again, very smart player, moves the puck well, highly skilled, um, and just the type of player we're looking for. So we were very excited to get him where he was. How about Cocken? Intelligent player, uh, played in the pro league. I think he had 19 points, uh, you know, as an 18-year-old playing in the elite league. Very smart, good defender, can still improve uh, his foot speed, but like a lot of these young kids, they all have work to do, but uh, highly intelligent, good stick, good first pass. Abramov? Skilled, very skilled. Again, we, we've seen these guys a lot as underages, but had a good Ivan Holinka this summer, a good year um, in Victoriaville, a uh, good playmaker. Uh, works hard, just had a good year, had a good year in a young team. Average easy? Again, <laughs> I keep going back to the, yeah, that's good. Um, keep going back to Smart. He, he's a 99 that uh, had a breakthrough season playing in Chicago uh, in the USHL. He led the league, USHL in scoring, or maybe he was second, but he was leading it up very late. Smart player, going to Harvard, obviously an intelligent human being, uh, driven, underdeveloped for a 99. When you look at him, he actually, you, sort of you would think he's an old one uh, so he's an older kid but still looks like he has room to grow and mature physically um, but again an intelligent human being intelligent hockey player Lopinen Lopinen skilled um, played in the uh, under 18s played in, for the national team uh, in several of the tournaments that we attended Ari Voro our uh, head European scout really liked him in the late rounds there um, moves the puck well he can skate so he's just another guy that's just going to get physically stronger. It's probably his biggest, uh, you know, biggest hurdle right now. Can you speak to Robertson's determination, given where he's come in life to this point now? He's a highly, highly motivated young man, uh, very, very serious. Uh, we met with him on several occasions when we did the background. He, he's driven, and that's part of what we like about him is, aside from the skill and the hockey sense, this kid lives, breathes, breathes and eats hockey. That's all he does. So he's someone that, you know, we put the faith, you have to put faith that the players are going to do the work because, you know, as we know, the pyramid gets smaller and you need, uh, you know, highly motivated people. And he's certainly one of those guys. He's, he's, he wants it. How did so. that stand out in the interview process? Well, I, I think our regional guys, uh, you know, in Ontario, Victor Canero, Chris Rock, they, they do the background homework through the course of the year and, and uh, give myself and Tim Speltz that type of information. Um, and then we meet with them and everything they said was on par that this kid's a, a driven player. And we talked to the coaches and I talked to people at, uh, you know, they had them at certain USA hockey events and things like that. And there's certainly a lot of, uh, you know, information that we, we take in. But everything came back that this kid's ultra serious and he's dying to be a hockey player. What kind of potential do you see for him? Uh, I think he's a highly skilled guy. I think he's a top line forward with power play potential. I think he's a potentially be a point producer and player in your power play. So, uh, you know, they're young kids. They got they got to put the work in. Like I said, I think he will. I, I can't give you a first line or second line, but we certainly have high hopes that he's going to be an offensive uh, player at the National Hockey League level in time. And all these young men, again, when you start your first picks at 53, they're all going to take time and none of them are ready NHL ready now or probably in the next couple of years but we do believe there's a lot of potential uh, with with all the guys we got today